below. In the previous video you learned the meaning, importance, common features, elements and steps of forecast. Here, you will learn the different approaches and techniques used for forecasting. There are two general approaches to forecasting, quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative methods involve either the projection of historical data or the development of associative models that attempt to utilize causal, explanatory, variables to make a forecast. Quantitative techniques consist mainly of analyzing objective, or hard, data. They usually avoid personal biases. The quantitative techniques are mainly classified either to time series forecasts and associative models. These techniques will be explained soon. Qualitative methods consist mainly of subjective inputs, which often defy precise numerical description. Qualitative techniques permit inclusion of soft information, as human factors, personal opinions, and hunches, in the forecasting process. Those factors are often omitted or downplayed when quantitative techniques are used because they are difficult or impossible to quantify. The qualitative approach is used in the situations where management must have a forecast quickly, there may not be enough time to gather and analyze quantitative data. At other times, especially when political and economic conditions are changing, available data may be obsolete and more up-to-date information might not yet be available. Similarly, the introduction of new products and the redesign of existing products or packaging suffer from the absence of historical data that would be useful in forecasting. In such instances, forecasts are based on Executive opinions Consumer surveys Opinions of the sales staff And opinions of experts Now, let us focus on the first category of quantitative forecast which is a time series forecast. A time series is a time-ordered sequence of observations taken at regular intervals, for example, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually. The data may be measurements of demand, earnings, profits, shipments, output, or productivity. Forecasting techniques based on time series data are made on the assumption that future values of the series can be estimated from past values. Although no attempt is made to identify variables that influence the series, these methods are widely used, often with quite satisfactory results. Analysis of time series data requires the analyst to identify the underlying behavior of the series. This can often be accomplished by plotting the data and visually examining the plot. One or more patterns might appear, trends, seasonal variations, cycles, or variations around an average. In addition, there will be random and perhaps irregular variations. These behaviors can be described as follows. Trends refer to a long-term upward or downward movement in the data. Population shifts changing incomes, and cultural changes often account for such movements. Seasonality refers to short-term, fairly regular variations generally related to factors such as the calendar or time of day. Restaurants, supermarkets, and theaters experience weekly and even daily seasonal variations. Cycles are wave-like variations of more than one year's duration. These are often related to a variety of economic, political, and even agricultural conditions. The variations may be irregular or random variations. The irregular variations are due to unusual circumstances such as severe weather conditions, strikes, or a major change in a product or service. They do not reflect typical behaviors, and their inclusion in the series can distort the overall picture. Whenever possible, these should be identified and removed from the data. While the random variations are residual variations that remain after all other behaviors have been accounted for. In this video the quantitative and qualitative forecasting approaches were explained with focus in the first one. The next video describes the various approaches to the analysis of time series data. So, Keep following us and do not forget to subscribe to be notified with the new videos. Goodbye.